Welcome back to Roto City Tech. Today we're out here next to the camper and Kelsey is going to show us some of her storage solutions and how she packs the camper when we get ready to go camp. So first we're going to start with uh, the cargo door and back here is where I tell Hank to put all the big and bulky things. Um, we really like having this. This is under that bunk inside um, flipped up. So we have got our folding chairs in here, our canopy, the generator, and then both of our Yeti coolers, and then our inflatable boat. So this is really nice because it doesn't take up any of the space inside or inside of the car, making it cramped or anything. So this is uh, the little cargo thing that Hank installed. Uh, we don't put anything too heavy on here because it can't really support it on the road. So we just keep our gas for the generator, firewood. Um, sometimes we put the inflatable boat back here, but not usually while we're traveling down the road. This is um, our little cargo door up on the front. This is where Hank keeps all of the stuff that he needs, his tools, all of the crap to tow with. Um, we do have our big table under here, so we have to lift up the bed to get it. And I think we have our cast iron skillet under here too, and all of our cooking stuff. So this is really Hank's little storage area. Not so much mine, but um, that's that cargo door. Now let's go inside. First thing I want to talk about is these little, are these little things that I installed. Um, I got them on Amazon and it comes in a two pack and it's just, I mean, it has a little sticker here that you can stick on. And then as you can see, we have our Crocs sitting here. Um, this is just to keep our shoes out of the way whenever we walk in. That way we don't have to track anything in. The next thing I want to show for our shoes is this bucket. I just got this at the Dollar Tree because it's a dollar. And um, if we have muddy shoes or like kind of wet shoes or too sandy shoes for us to kind of slide them in this, um, we'll usually just set it right outside here whenever we're camping and um, let them sit out to dry or whatever. Now inside the camper, um, above the dinette area, this is where I keep all of our food stuff. Um, by the way, I'm like really nerdy when it comes to organization. So I bought all these like little stands from the Dollar Tree. Um, if you don't have a Dollar Tree, you're missing out. So I got these little stands. Um, that way I can store, make the most of the storage with all of our food. I've got a ton of goldfish, Hank's favorite. Um, I got one of these little baskets also at the Dollar Tree. And I just store all of these little bags of snacks. Um, it's just nice and handy, organized. I can pull it out, pull whatever snacks we want as um, we're packing. If we're taking a little bag to go on the boat. Um, these are the little canisters that I made. Um, this has Bella's dog food in it. Um, our koozie one is back here. Okay, up over this one. This is where I keep the taller, like more bulky things. Hank installed these little spice rack things for me. And um, that's really nice because it is another thing that just kind of takes some of that space, puts it more to use. This little basket, if we have potatoes or onions, I put them in here. Um, that way they don't roll around as we're traveling up on the road. But we've got all of our coffee stuff, pancakes, um, canned goods, just kind of whatever else is food related, but not stuff that we eat usually. This is more of the spices and other things behind the scenes as you're getting ready to prep for a meal. The bunks, this is what I'm really excited about. Um, really geeked out over this because I was trying to find a way that we can make the best of these because we don't have anyone else sleeping up there. So I got these little hanging um, storage things on Amazon. I had to measure, but they have little shelves. Um, these have little drawers. And then here's our little shower curtain rod that they're hanging off of. Um, I got specifically cream like white ones for the ones over here. Um, these we don't have up all the time. This is for like longer trips, like our week long trip that we go on. Um, it gives us more storage, but usually I take these down so I can let that light come through. But if we do have to have them up, that's why I got the cream colored light ones. That way that sunlight can still come through even though the window is being blocked. But these are really nice. These white ones have little pockets on the side. So we can pack a lot of clothes up here and then I keep our extra blankets and bags back over here in this corner. I bought this little hamper 
for like two dollars one of those that just folds out has the wires in it um, I keep it folded and tucked away over here whenever we're on the road then whenever we are not on the road and it's time to put clothes in it um, if we're not using the toilet I will just open it up and we usually set it on the toilet like that the other thing is I got this little rack at TJ Maxx like probably three or four years ago um, and it fit in my old bathroom but now it's perfect for the camper this is where we just keep extra toilet paper um, camping toilet paper in case we're at a facility somewhere and they don't have toilet paper I keep that there other cosmetic things first aid kit um, really anything toiletry or bathroom related and then I also got these little hooks for us to put um, like it when we're at the lake we put our wet swimsuits on them after we're getting ready to get in the shower or we can put our towels after we're done using them on those hooks also the fridge um, even though it's bigger than a lot of the other refrigerators and campers I have a lot of fun playing like Tetris trying to get everything to fit in here especially on those week-long trips but I really like this shelf for the water bottles because it seems like it's a perfect little fit um, this shelf is perfect for cans cokes or other beverages that you might want to consume um, and then I bought this thing also at Dollar Tree just to keep our ketchup in and it's been really nice it we don't have to take up a lot of space with a huge bottle of ketchup and we can use some of those that we just keep whenever we're done and we have extras and then it kind of takes the space and uses this little tiny shelf up above the sink this is where I keep our plates and bowls um, also all of our cups and then our lighters um, I just know that they're there if we need to um, use the stove for anything and light it up down below the sink um, well first of all I want to talk about this little thing Hank got this for me I think on Amazon and um, you can put a Walmart or a plastic bag shopping bag on here and it keeps it open and that way you can just drop stuff into here um, I also use it for our kitchen towel um, I'll hang it up and leave it there so that way it is able to dry so this kind of serves as a dual purpose for us whenever we're out camping underneath the sink um, I got some bowls also from the Dollar Tree really like that place if you can't tell um, this is in case we need to mix anything I can use these whenever we're making pancakes same with these this is where I keep all of our silverware um, our pots and pans the foil um, I bought some little organizer things clothesline pins um, in case you need to hang anything up or if you want to close up like a chip bag or something um, I have this to keep all of our rags I like to use these little things as drying mats whenever I'm doing dishes we've got our kitchen towel and then just extra napkins in case we need them while we're out um, an extra roll of paper towels some oven mitts in case we've got hot stuff that we need to set out um, a cool thing that Hank actually just discovered is this there was a little wall right here um, if you take the screw out this is like completely finished extra storage under here on the sink on the wolf pup so um, I was able to put this is where I keep like our Tupperware things our cooking utensils um, scissors sharpie cutting board and then I have like little rag rag towels in case if we have a leak because one time that happened and we did not have extra towels so um, that's really nice extra storage over there then under here this is where I keep all of our trash bags plastic baggies um, cleaning supplies and then any extra little Walmart sacks to hang on this or for small trash a dish soap we have a collapsible broom that Hank bought this thing is pretty handy and nifty um, so it folds up like this and then and it helps while we're out Hank also installed this paper towel thing because I was complaining that it was always in the way um, so we have our little paper towel roller I also bought these little um, spoon things this is what I use to keep our dishwasher hand scrub thing in while we're camping because um, it was leaving soap residue residue and I didn't like that and then this one is actually for our 
um, toothbrushes so that that doesn't leave any extra wet or toothpaste or anything. Since we only have one sink, um, we'll just usually set that over right there and um, keep our toothbrushes in that. Okay, over here underneath the dinette, um, Hank actually drilled some holes. There weren't any in here and we were always picking up right here. Um, so this is really handy. This is where we keep our extra um, camping toilet paper and more dog stuff. Bella's um, like puppy pads if we have to leave her in here. Um, her dog bowls are in here and other miscellaneous camper stuff that Hank is working on um, that he hasn't finished. <laughs> Getting called out. And then underneath this one, he drilled another little hole for your finger. Um, we have extra goldfish, as I said, Hank's favorite, our water bottles. Hashtag hopefully sponsored. Yeah. Our um, water bottles, camping decor, like if we're at a place longer than a couple days, we'll put up some cute little stuff. Um, camper themed, tablecloth for outside. Um, so yeah. So this storage above the bed, um, this is where I keep all of our towels. Um, and then I have extra pillowcases back over here in case they get dirty. I've got Kleenexes, um, our playing cards. This area above the bed is kind of just extra miscellaneous stuff. Um, this is probably where I have the most unused space. Um, ibuprofen, <laughs> if we have medicines that we need or anything. I think I've also got motion sickness. Um, I have these extra things. I have laid, as you can see right here, um, I have laid this stuff out under all of the shelves um, just to keep our stuff from sliding around and um, it helps because I was finding that every time we were done camping our stuff, especially above up in here, um, was sliding all the way across or the dishes were sliding. So this stuff has helped a lot and I just keep extras of it. Um, and then I have an extra set of sheets for this bed up above here also. So that's how I pack and organize and store all the things for our camper. We do have a couple of more updates that we are wanting to do in the near future. Um, one of them is there's this little space right here where we are talking about putting a small curtain rod or pole or something um, where we could use hang up clothes and hang them up right there because I mean, they're gonna come you know, right here probably, so it wouldn't be getting in the way while you're trying to sleep. Um, another one is we were talking about turning this um, dinette into um, a drawer pullout instead of having to use, um, lift up the cushions and use that little finger hole. And then the other thing we were talking about doing is trying to make this some kind of opening, a door, so we can get um, to this little extra storage space we found a little bit easier without having to stick your arm all the way through there. I have been asking Hank to figure out a way to put a medicine cabinet um, either right here or right here. Just a small little thing that we can keep some of this other, like the miscellaneous, our medicines, um, toothbrush, um, and then have a little mirror that I can use to fix my hair or whatever I need to do. All right, the last thing is there's a little shelf. Um, it's kind of hard to get to, but it's underneath here. Um, you can kind of see I'm hitting it. Um, but we don't really know what to put in there. So if anyone has this wolf pup or a similar camper that has this little shelf on top and then one a little bit lower, if you want to share your ideas of how you use that little space, um, especially since we don't get to it very e easily or very often, feel free to drop a comment and tell us what you do right there. So there you go. There's all of Kelsey's madness as far as storage solutions and uh, everything. But it is super helpful because just earlier today I was like, where's this? And she's like, right there. Where's this? Right there. And I was yeah, like... Yeah, I knew exactly. I'm like, it's in the right hand cabinet above the bed towards the back. Yeah, I would not be able to do that. I use something and leave it where I use it and yeah. forget it where it is next time. So anyways, everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can be notified whenever we have new videos coming up. And uh, Kelsey's going to do some more videos. I know everybody seems to like her hosting it. I don't even know why. but what the heck? Maybe I do know why. It's because she's pretty. But 
Anyways, um, follow us on Instagram, at Roto City Tech, and drop us comments. Uh, DM us if you have any questions on the Wolf Pup. And until then, we'll catch y'all next time. Thanks for watching.